Welcome to Capture Screens, a module of the Wavelink eLearning training course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity console. Each time you want to move to the next slide, click anywhere on the slide to continue or click on the forward arrow shown here. Rather than causing waves or reinventing the wheel with Kluge host application setup, the Velocity client is able to enhance the user interface experience through its built-in HTML and CSS rendering engines. With this functionality, you can import your existing screens to a project in the Velocity console and apply styled themes or edit individual screen elements for a more modern appearance to your users. Or, if you don't want to worry about the hassle of setting up screen element styles, you can immediately use the Velocity client with its predictive formatting capabilities to automatically apply a preset series of styles to your screens for immediate use on the smart devices. In this module, we will learn how to capture screens for inclusion into the Velocity console. We will use the Wavelink TE client for Windows to serve this purpose. Therefore, we will learn to download the TE client, install the client, create a host profile and connect to that profile, create the screen capture file that we will import into the Wavelink Velocity client, and last, use the screen reformatter to weed out duplicate screens and place the screen in process order for easy manipulation by the Velocity console. To perform a screen capture, you must have downloaded and installed the TE client for PC or Windows CE mobile devices. It is best practice to capture screens from the Windows client on a PC that has the ability to connect to the desired host application, but it can be done with a Windows mobile device as well. To obtain these files, visit the Wavelink website. From the downloads, select a manufacturer drop-down, select Universal Clients. Under Universal Enablers and Clients, select Emulators. Then, select the Wavelink TE for Universal Windows for your OS. The international version supports double byte characters. Let's start the installation by executing the Wavelink TE file that was downloaded. When the welcome window appears, click on Next. Click on I agree if you agree with the end user license agreement. Next, select the install folder or keep the default folder and click on install. The files will be deployed to the PC. If you plan on using screen capture often, click yes to add a shortcut to the desktop. Since you have a shortcut, there is no reason to have the TE client start every time Windows starts or reboots, so click no. Make sure Run Wavelink Telnet Client is checked and then click on Finish to start the TE client. The TE client window will appear. Once your TE client is installed, we must make a host connection. From the TE client, go to the Term drop down menu and select Configure, then select Host Profiles. The password is System. Type in System and press OK. Click New to create a new host profile. Enter a host profile name and then set the address, emulation type, and the emulation listening port of the application. When finished, click OK and return to the TE client connection screen. Once a host profile is created, we can connect to the host. From the term pull-down menu, select Connect Session 1. Since we are just using the client to capture screens, you will be able to run in demo mode, which means no license is needed. This will give you only one hour of time, but that should be enough to gather a complete screen capture. You should see the first screen of the application as proof of the success of the connection. To begin capturing screens from the TE client, click the Term Menu drop-down and select Screen Capture. A dialog box appears, asking you where the screen capture file should be saved. Select the location and a file name and click Save. While connected to the host, navigate through each screen of the interface. Be sure to capture any error screens or optional screens in addition to the standard process screens. The TE client will only record the screens that you access. After accessing all the screens you want to import, 
go to the term drop down menu and select screen capture again. The checkbox next to screen capture tells you that it is still active. Click on screen capture toggle and the capture process is ended. Screens are saved to a WLTSC file. If you don't end the screen capture in this manner, the file will remain empty. Screens aren't written to the file until you tell the client you're done recording. The .wltsc file is now ready for import as needed. Built into Wavelink TE for Windows is the screen reformatter. This tool allows you to delete and rearrange screens that will be used by the Velocity console. To start the screen reformatter, go to the term drop-down menu and select Configure. Then select Screen Reformatter. The reformatter has a password configured. The password is System. Enter the password and click on OK. If this is the first time using the reformatter or you deleted previous screens, the reformatter will ask if you would like to add some screens. Click on Yes. Select the screen capture file that was built with the WLTSC extension. Then click on Open. The screens are added and the screen reformatter will report how many screens it added and how many it thought were duplicates. On the left hand tree view, all the screens will be listed. Each time you highlight a screen, it will display the screen contents in the bottom section of the screen reformatter workspace. You have the choice to delete screens. You do this with a highlight of the screen in the tree view, a right click, and choosing Delete Screen. You can change the order of the screens by drag and drop of the screens inside the tree view. In this example, 7 was drugged to just below screen 1. This can be continued until the slides are in the order you want to work on them within the Velocity console. When all is finished, go to the File menu and click on Save. This will save the file on the reformatter. Now the file is ready for export. Go to the Tools menu and select Export Screen Capture. Choose a new file name if you want to keep the original screen capture. In this example, the file name is now Acme Screen Capture Configured.wltsc. Click Save. The file is now ready to be imported into the Velocity Console. Thank you for listening to Capture Screen Presentation, a module of the Wavelink eLearning Training Course on Velocity and specifically the Velocity Console. You are now ready to move on to the next module. Wavelink, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Landis Corporation, has offices around the world, so there will always be a convenient office near you. If you would like any more information, please contact your Wavelink sales representative or email us at the address sales at wavelink.com.